in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create an audio waveform for any music track using adobe after effects welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and as i mentioned today we're going to be creating an audio waveform using adobe after effects and all you need to do this is an audio or music track and you can do everything else within after effects so with all that said let's go ahead and jump into after effects so here we are in after effects and the first thing i want to do is create a new project by hitting the new project button obviously the next thing i want to do is create a new composition by going to composition up top then a new composition or you could have done Control n on windows or command n on mac and let's rename this to um lspv audio waveform tutorial right and let's just make it well it's already set to 15 seconds you can make this 60 frames per second if you want you can change the orientation of it this is a 4 by 5 aspect ratio for me that's perfect for this tutorial so just let's go ahead and click ok right and the next thing i want to do is bring in my audio track here it is i'm just dragging it in then i'm going to drag it down to my timeline my project timeline and then we have our music track that we need the next thing i want to do is create a new solid right so i'm just going to go ahead to layer new and then new solid right and it can be a white solid or whatever color you want because when you generate the waveform on this solid the color will not be visible right so let's just go ahead and click ok but let's pause here and save our project let's go to file save as let's just name it lspv audio waveform tutorial similar to what we named the composition right and just go ahead and click save all right now we're ready to continue then we're going to click on our white solid right click go to effect then we're going to generate and then you can do audio waveform or audio spectrum right now let me just go ahead and click waveform and you can see immediately we got this pink line right here right and what i want to do next is i want to create another color that way you guys can actually see better that way this composition is not like transparent right here behind it the transparent checkers i'm just going to go ahead and click layer new solid or you could have used the control y shortcut just click ok and just drag it down behind the first one underneath the first one right and let's rename this white background right and then let's rename the top one audio waveform bg audio waveform background right next i want to do next next i want to set the audio layer of the audio waveform effect to my music track and you will see this drop down right here let's just adjust this this drop down right here that says white solid it said audio layer right here and you just want to navigate and find your music track this is my track right here hold me that's the song that i use for my intro and outro on youtube and already if you look right here you can see that there is some action happening right here on the track right let me go ahead and hit spacebar to play this but first let me save my project Control and s and then let me hit spacebar to play so you can see what's happening right see that you're already getting motion from the waveform let me hit pause now what i can do is i can change some of the values here i can change the start and end point if you wanted to start at the edge of your frame see it's moving right here if i were to put the x value on the starting point to zero it will start right at the edge of my frame if i were to change the end point to 1080 it will go all the way across because remember the width of this project is 1080 pixels right and then if you want to come down even further let's undo that Control and z and if you come down further you can change the amount of samples you want to show that's the amount of points that will be on your waveform that will be affected when the the, the beat in the song changes right you can choose the maximum height of the waveform so like when it's playing you can choose how tall it gets look what's happening right here see this if i were to reduce the maximum height you see it's getting shorter right see that how cool is that look what's happening oops see it's getting shorter if i were to increase it it gets taller right see that so that's pretty cool and then you can 
increase the thickness, make it like really thin, right? And you can adjust the softness as well. I don't want it to be soft. I want it to be nice and thick. And you can change the color, obviously, right? If I wanted to choose like the learn share orange or something, right? And then like a blue to go with it. There's an inside and an outside color. Um, there you are. That's if you want an inside and outside color, you can set them to be the same color. And now if you press play, you can see what's happening. See that? That's pretty cool, right? And then you can even change the waveform options to mono, from mono to left and right. But it won't make much difference. You can also change the display option from analog to digital. And that way, when you go ahead and hit play, see that? How cool is that? Let me go ahead and just set the end point. The starting point is zero and the end point back to 1080 pixels. Let me go ahead and hit control and S to save. And then let me show you how to add a audio spectrum. Same thing, just a different format, right? Let me go ahead and right click on my audio um, waveform solid, go back to effect, generate, and then let's go ahead. Where is it? Oh, audio spectrum, right? Let me turn off the waveform and collapse it. Now I can go ahead and choose my audio layer to the song. Similar to what we just did, we can adjust the starting and end points. As you guys know, we can choose the starting frequency, right? And the end frequency, we can choose how many bands we want here. This is right now, this is um, 64 bands. We can reduce the number or increase the number. See that? That way our points will get smaller and we can do softness and thickness just as before. And if I were to go ahead and hit play, let's see what happens here. See that? The movement is very, very fine, right? Or minuscule. So let me go ahead and like increase the height of the bands. Let me go ahead and choose how many frequency bands we have. Right. And I can also like adjust the um the end the starting frequency, right? Let's go at, to, let's put it to one and the end frequency is to 2000. And we can change the colors, obviously, as you know. Let me go ahead and just choose like a blue, like a nice um, soft blue here, right? Let's do the same. Let's make it all blue, right? And then you can go ahead and change the display options from digital to analog lines, as you know. You can choose side A, which is just the top half. You can do side B, which is the lower half. So it's pretty cool. You have a lot of options right here. You can even adjust the hue interpolation, right? So you can rotate rotate this wheel and you'll get like the rainbow spectrum, right? How cool is that? And now, if it were, you were to go ahead and hit play, you can see that it's just side A. Let me put it to both sides. And if I were to press play, see that? So, so cool. What do you guys think? Let me reduce the maximum height to like 1500. That is so cool. And what I want to show you is you can even turn this into a circle or another shape. One, you can go ahead and use your pen tool by hitting P, not P, sorry, hitting G for your pen tool and mixing it up with Photoshop. And then you can just draw out a path. Let's just draw a random path here, like something really random. And then when you come to path under your audio spectrum, you can hit the drop down and choose mask one. And now your audio spectrum will be on that path. See that? That's pretty cool, right? But that's not what we want today. I want to show you how to add it to a circle. So I'm going to go ahead over to my effects here and I'm looking for polar coordinates. I'm just going to drag it over underneath my audio spectrum. And then I'm going to just change the conversion from polar to rectangle to, from, to rectangle to polar, right? And that will give me my options now to turn it into a circle, right? And I'm just going to increase the percentage from zero to a hundred percent. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, I don't want to zoom out all that much, but yeah. You guys should be able to see this and know if I were to adjust the end point and the starting point, I can let these two points meet, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's adjust our 
or starting point. Let's bring it all the way there, right? Let's bring our end point around to meet it. Um, about there. Then let me bring my starting point around some more to about there, right? And then let's go ahead and hit play. Let me zoom out to fit. And then let me hit play and see what we got from the beginning. How cool is that, right? And what's happening is here, I can increase the amount of frequency bands. That way we get some more bands, right? Interpolation all the way to 100. And let me, let me reduce the bands and see what I got. All right, that looks cool. Thickness. I don't want it that thick. I can increase the softness, but I don't want it. I don't want it to be soft. Now, if I zoom to a hundred percent to fit, sorry, and if I were to hit play, see that I can in, even increase the size of this so it fills it. Let me hit S for my scaling options and let it fill it. Let me turn off the hue interpolation back to zero. Let's just keep the colors that we want. Press play. And you see you have some pretty cool options there right see that i remember you can increase all of these values to really dial it in so it looks good for you and your music track right because the track that you use is going to be different from the track that i'm using right so you just fine tune it to your liking and to match the track that you're using the music that you're using and you can go ahead and create a pretty cool audio waveform or audio spectrum right let me increase the maximum height a little bit more and then let me see what i got right let me zoom to fit and press play go back to the beginning and press play i need to adjust the meeting points right here the starting and end points right here so let's go back to the starting point about there let's do zero and then endpoint let's do endpoint should be let's do 1080 let's manually enter 1080 and then let's go back to fit and let's press play and see what we got how cool is that right and if i wanted to let me decrease the the the, the height because that was way too tall just now Let's press play and see what we're getting, right? From the beginning, let's go. How cool is this? And what I can do next is I can, it's still a little bit tall because that one note was coming all the way in the middle. Let's do 2000 for the height. Press play again. Let's go back to a thousand and see how it looks. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. I really like that thickness. Let's make it a little bit thicker and then let's make less frequency bands, right? So let's reduce the amount of bands and let's make each band thicker. All right, let's do, let's do 50 bands or let's do 80. Thickness about 10 and see what we got. Well, maybe not 10, but let's do seven and press play. Wait, let me turn off the hue interpolation back to zero. That way it only has the color that we set it to, right? That looks good. All right, let me see that. That's looking nice and thick. Let me increase the number of frequency bands. Mm, about there. Thickness down. Let me turn on by the interpolation and see what colors look like. Hit play from the beginning. And obviously, if you wanted to adjust what portion of your song is viewed within this waveform, you can just go to composition, composition settings and make sure that your composition is the entire length of your song. Right. So let me change mine to three minutes. And then let me zoom out, right? And then let me extend my audio waveform and my background. It's very important that you extend the audio waveform solid as well, right? Now I can go ahead and hit play to see what I have. 
how cool is that right and the more the song picks up is the more action we'll see on this waveform and now you can go ahead and save this as an mp4 you know you can use your render queue or you can save it as a transparent file that you can put on top of a graphic so if you made a graphic in photoshop and you want just this waveform with no background to go on top of that graphic if you want to edit that in premiere pro or something else you can do that as well all you have to do is go up top to file export and you can add it to media encoder or you can just add it to your render queue however you want to export it i like to add it to media encoder and then just export the mp4 right but if i want i can even put my logo in the middle here right let's go ahead and do that so i just dragged in my logo but it's way too big and i'm just going to size it down to about 30 percent even smaller 10 percent even smaller than that um about there right if i want i'm just showing you guys an example of what you can do and if i were to hit play now control and s to save first of all and let me just go back to the waveform. Let me set the interpret the hue interpolation to zero. Let me pick an actual color from my logo. Let the inside color be orange. Well, let's have both colors be orange, right? Let's zoom to fit, control and S to save. And then let's press play again and see what we have. Let's go to a high point in the track and press play. It's rendering, obviously it needs time to like render out all that's happening. And then you're ready to export. You are ready to export as I just showed you. See this point right here? It's almost touching my logo. Let me just go ahead and reduce the maximum height from a thousand to about 700, right? You can do it smaller if you want, let's do 500. But as I mentioned earlier, you just tweak it to your liking and you can go ahead and use it for whatever purpose you want, right? Let me just do side A or side B. So that's on the outside and let me increase the maximum height a little bit. And let's hit play and see what I got. How cool is that? That is so cool. Now I can just go ahead and save this and export it, right? So I can go to file, export. I like to use media encoder as I mentioned and media encoder will now open up and all I have to do is just export it as an MP4 and I'm ready to go, ready to share it on social media. So here I am in media encoder. I have my file right here ready to export and all I'm going to do is just come over to the bottom left scroll all the way down to web video you know for some presets and i can just drag like a facebook 1080p full hd on top of it that will update it for me to an mp4 the settings are all there i don't have to do anything else and i can just hit the play button to export it and i'm ready to go my file will be ready for me to use on social media so have you ever edited an audio waveform before if not how confident are you to use it to level up your video production remember you can use this if you have a podcast if you're an artist and you have your own music and you want to add a little bit more flair to it to share it on social media and on youtube let me know what you think in the comments below thank you Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is T-Jam and I will see you guys in the next video.